Hello, my name is Felicia Fallum. I am an artist and traveler and I love to talk about culture. Today's project is the final one in this series and we're going to talk about our own cultures. We're gonna do name drawings today using your name and different aspects of our own cultures. Everybody has a family culture. It might be what you did over the weekend, whether you go on boat trips or you go camping or fishing. It might be whether you prefer to watch football at home, soccer, or maybe even baseball. Your culture is also what language you speak and what foods you eat, what holidays you celebrate. There are so many aspects of culture that we don't always think about. So today, we're going to talk about our own cultures. And my hope is that at the end of this project, you will be happy about your culture and you will love it and be willing and excited to share with your friends and your family all about your culture. So this is my name drawing. I did it years ago, so it is wrinkled on. Each letter has a different aspect of my culture. I love to travel and so a lot of international things are a part of my culture. It says, not all who wander are lost in Portuguese. Um, I do speak Portuguese, Hindi, and a little tiny bit of Spanish, as well as sign language. When I was little, I lived with my mom and my grandmother, who my grandmother is deaf, and so I've always had an interest in sign language. I did later live with my mom and my adoptive father as well. So those are the languages, but tater tot casserole or tater tot hot dish. I grew up in the Midwest, South Dakota, where we do a lot of big casseroles and hot dishes. Um, tater tots are a thing that we ate a lot of growing up and you throw all the vegetables in and you put tater tots on top and cook it and it is delicious. So I included that as one of my cultural foods that I grew up with. I grew up near Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and my half siblings are both uh, Native American, three quarters Native American. I'm a quarter Native American and that is a part of cult my culture that I grew up around a lot of Lakota Oglala Lakota Sioux is the tribe that I'm the closest to and the culture I grew up around. This one says love in multiple languages. I believe that we all should be loving each other and caring for each other. I did grow up Lutheran. I am Christian. I go to a Baptist church now, but I did grow up with the Lutheran um, in the Lutheran church and aspects of Lutheran culture still play a role in my life today. My dad played the saxophone growing up and I grew up around a lot of music and music is something that I also care about. So this is my culture and my name. We're going to go through how to make bubble letters. We'll also go through the alphas so you can practice spelling your name. And at the end of this, we'll talk a little bit about your culture and what things you want to put in each of your letters. For this project, you will need some scratch paper, some blank paper, a pencil, an eraser, and colors. They can be markers, crayons, or colored pencils. First, we will write out the alphabet in all capital letters. You can pause the video in a moment to see them all. Then, we will outline each letter using a pencil. After we have outlined in pencil, we will copy the outlines in a marker or black colored pencil. Then, erase the pencil underneath and correct the details. After I finished, I circled the letters in my name to begin preparing my final drawing. I planned out where I wanted each letter to go, drew them in pencil, and then I outlined in Sharpie. And I erased the lines inside one last time. Now it's time to think about what is my culture? Hmm, what things should we put in each letter? What do you think? Do you like to play a sport? A sport could go in one letter. Hmm, what foods do you eat? That could go in another letter. Do you have pets? 
We do have a dog. I didn't put a dog in mine, but you could put a dog or a cat or fish in another one. Do you have brothers or sisters? You could draw your family. My husband and I were foster parents for a little while. Do you have people that stay with you from time to time? You could include them. What language do you speak at home? Do you speak English or Spanish or Russian or something else? You can put that in a letter. What's your favorite holiday? All of these things can go in a different letter. I hope you enjoyed this project and I am excited to learn about other people's cultures as well. I hope that you will be able to share your culture with your friends and family. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.